Hey everybody, what's up? It's Black History Month. That means it's Everybody History Month. That means it's World History Month. I think World History Month is every day. We should respect World History every day. So I would call that Black History every day. But this month, just remember that there's so many historical references we can make because Black people started this earth and we gonna be here till the end of it. That said, last week we were talking about living in the present. Let's be in the present. Let's be in the right now. And for me, that was really powerful because every time that I was going through a problem or an issue, I had to understand that what's going on really right now? What can I do with right now? And I'm glad that I was here in the present, right? I was there in the present and I'm here in this present and that it's okay to, to constantly say, hey, I want to change my mind or constantly say, hey, I want to do better or be so present that you begin to critique your own thoughts in a way that it changes your speech and changes who you are. So moving into the news. <laughs> so for fashion, I just wanted to get into Beyonce and her daughter. So she looked cute at the Grammys, but it's this picture where she's holding Blue Ivy snacks. And as a mother, I just felt that so much. Sometimes it's like, really, I'm just trying to be cute. I'm just trying to live my life. Life, but I got to hold your snacks because I love you. And I remember telling a friend of mine that when you become a mother, it's not that you're not fly anymore. It's that your fly changes, right? When you become a mother, it's really cooler to be with your children, to hold their snacks, to get ready and be prepared for them than it is to just look cute. That really ain't really what's popping no more when you bring a child into this world. So I was just like so happy to see that, to see her being a mother and being unapologetic and still slaying and still being cute as fuck at the Grammys. And I respect that. I'm with that. So Google out here giving all kinds of money to have some young black engineers. I'm here for that. Black people, I already said this. It's Black History Month. We can do anything that we want to do. Now, if there are positions that we need to fill and take to get out of the positions that we are in, then go ahead and do that. If everybody only wants to offer you a job as a rapper, as an entertainer, as an athlete, as a stripper, if that is what you find yourself in, and that's how you feel like you're going to move to the next level. Ain't nobody here to judge you. But what you have to understand is that you can be anything that you want to be. You have been anything that you want to be. So I want to thank Google if they are truly intending greatness when they offer and extend a program that allows young black engineers, especially young black male engineers, because I want to tell you that you are the kings of this world and you know so much and it is so powerful that you would educate yourself and get behind something that can move and change things. We the next Apple. We the next everything. Go ahead. Thank you, Google. I'm glad that you see the value in the black mind. A man by the name of Malcolm Alexandria just got out of Angola for doing 38 years unjustly. This is a new topic I really kind of want to touch on. The judicial system is completely broken. It's made to profit off of human lives. Once we were identified as black or made to identify as black, it was because we were a commodity. The judicial system and the prison system actually uses that same concept of the color of our skin or the race that, they, that we are supposed to be identified as, as a way to profit, out, profit off of us. The reason that people are identified as black is to support an economic system. So you have to think of this. So thank you so much for just coming home. I know that it was hard. 38 years is a long time. No amount of money will ever, 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 ever give you back. Not what you lost, but what you had to go through. You a better man. You stronger than a lot of people. I commend you. And I just want to say, welcome home, welcome home, welcome home. So we're talking about being an open book and we got a beautiful little girl, Chloe Fernandez, and she has been nominated for the WebMD Award because she also put her words on paper and decided to tell everyone what it was like to live with the rare form of cancer. And see what it does when we share and open ourselves up is we give other people strength. We allow other people to know things that they don't know and to relate to us and to find out that they too can get through the very same struggle that either I'm going through or you're going through. So I just want to congratulate this little girl for being so powerful in a time where it was probably so hard to be powerful and then furthermore inspiring the lives of others. We got some books that just came out. Charlemagne the God releases Black Privilege. I'm all about these books. I'm all about black writers. I'm all about the fact that we are so many things, that we have been so many things, that we definitely have the words and the intelligence to create New York Times bestsellers. So I want to say everybody go out there and get Charlemagne's book and get it because you need to probably read something. Read something. Put some meat on your head. And the nigga is a nigga just like you if that's how you identify. So he's probably going to tell you something really real and something that 
might be able to help you. Not only give you some vocabulary, but help you understand how it is and what you feel and what you're going through. And then we also have Unsuccessful Thug from Mike Epps. I am so here for that. I have to get this book. I probably already ordered it. You need to pre-order it on Amazon with Mike Epps because what it is is that if you understand this man's story, really where he really came from, what he saw, and where he is today, something he has to say, if not many things he has to say, are valuable. So I want to commend both of these black men for giving back to their community, giving to people that look like them, believing in themselves, putting their stories on word so that it could be here forever and people could learn from you. That is a powerful thing. Thank you for being an open book. So this week, let's use things for what they are. I was talking to my sister, we went on a hike, and we were talking about like, a motherfucker wanting to make something into something that it's not. So I use this analogy. When you get an orange, you eat the fruit inside. You don't eat the skin outside because that's not what it's for. The skin is for something else. The skin has oil that may help your skin. The skin has oils in the skin has oils in it that may sit on the ground and keep bugs away from other plants. But the skin of an orange is not intended for you to eat. So you take what you want from that fruit and you use it. And in eating that fruit, you then shift the seeds out and pollinate something else. So really it's a mutual relationship. The way that the world goes we talked about this also one love giving and receiving the fact that things are mutual that everything has a reason so when you come upon a person don't try to use that person for something they are not don't try to make somebody into something that they are not let them be who they are let them do what they are going to do because that is what they're there for in your life for like literally Take advantage of the fact that people are here for what they are and that will give you the most out of every relationship, every situation in life. Quit trying to eat a piece of concrete because that's not fucking what concrete is for. Concrete is to walk on and sometimes you have to look at people that So I want you guys to have a great week. I want you to continue to be blessed. I want you to use every situation for what it's for. I want you to get the most out of every day, get the most out of every moment, not because it's going to do something so much for me, but it will because it's going to put a smile on your face and that's going to put a smile on my face because you're going to be smiling and we'll be smiling back and forth. I love y'all. I'll see you next week. Happy Black History Month. Hey, hey, let's let this shit run for the rest of the year till New Year's. Have a great day. Love y'all.